Mina here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Mina. I make videos about fashion, beauty, and DIY. And today I'm gonna show you how to make three different uh, embroidery jumper for a Christmas present or for yourself. So in Korea, we celebrate Christmas, but we usually don't do gift giving, but I love buying Christmas presents for myself. <laughs> and I saw this really pretty embroidery photo on Instagram, and I thought that could be a fun DIY project for Christmas present. This is one of a jumper I made. It's my name on it. <laughs> yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So for the first project, I'm going to embroider Coco Chanel leather with tube beads and embroidery threads. Before we start, I'm going to lay out the beads to see how they look using double-sided tape so I can get the idea of finished look. For alphabet C, I'm using long tubes and for small O's, I'm using small tubes. And to add a little bit of Christmas vibe, I'm going to use red and green small tubes for accent color. And for Chanel letters below, I'm going to do embossed embroidery to keep a 3D effect. I am using red tulle fabric because this embroidery will be stitched on red jumper later. To start, I'm just copying the design using chalk pencil. Before I start beading, I'm going to backstitch all the letters so the color of the beads show up more vividly on the jumper. I'm using two strands of white embroidery thread for cocoa letters. For letter Chanel, I used white thread, but these letters will be covered with silver threads later, so I switched to red ones, so if I made a mistake, they won't be visible on the red jumper. Now I'm beading with two beads using silver thread on the top of the base back stitches I made. And now I'm backstitching red and green threads on the left side of C as well. It doesn't have to be small stitches because they will be covered with B. And now I'm beading tubes diagonally alongside of the letter. To give embossed effect, I'm using four strands of silver threads to cover all the Chanel letters below. And to be honest, this took so much time because I used very thin threads, but if you're using thicker thread, it will save a lot of time. To finish this project, I'm going to add few beads randomly attached to letters. And before you take it out and sew it on jumper, remove all the extra threads on the back. And also, I'm gonna use a little bit of instant glue just in case they got loose or fall apart. So I bought this jumper on coupon website for about 10,000 won, which is around 7 pounds. So I decided to sew this embroidery on the left chest area so I can sew it as a heart shape. I'm using basic brother sewing machine and I'm gonna do zigzag stitch. After that, remove the extra fabrics remaining a little bit of fabric outside of the zigzag line. And there you go, your own DIY Coco Chanel Christmas jumper. For the second project, we're going to use black tulle fabric for black jumper. This one is also Chanel inspired embroidery. After I copied the line with chalk pencil, I'm pinning down the rhinestone chain. I don't know what it's called, but uh, rhinestone chain, yeah. <laughs> and I'm using thin white thread to place them down. Now I'm using 5 strands of black thread and backstitching the outline of the letters to give more support so the rhinestone chain won't move around. And now we can sew it on the jumper using simple backstitch with one strand of black thread. I'm gonna backstitch all the outlines. So after removing all the excess fabrics, I draw a heart and arrow line to give a little oomph of Christmas color. 
So I'm using same two beads I used for the first project and I'm just stitching red beads randomly along the heart shaped line and for the arrow I'm stitching green one but this time I'm stitching them following the line like so. And there you have your another Chanel embroidery jumper! This is how it turned out. I think this is my favorite. For the final project, I, to be honest, I was out of idea and mostly my energy, so I just decided to go with simple machine embroidery. So I'm gonna machine embroider my name using silver stitch, but I didn't use any support fabric on the back, so it got a little wonky because the fabric of the jumper is a little bit stretchy, but well, it's my jumper, so that's fine. And after I finished embroidering my name, I decided to add some sequins around my name. <sighs> I don't know why I'm torturing myself, but I accidentally have this red-green mixed sequence, so it's happening. I just spread them out randomly to see how they'll look, and using one strand of green embroidery thread. So if you put a notebook behind the fabric, it's easier to stitch them on. And I place the sequin through the thread like that. And to hold it, I'm, I'm going under the sequin and out on the other side, and go back inside the middle. So two threads are holding the sequin. And then go out to the place where you want to add another sequin. So you place the sequins and go under and out to the other side and then go back inside the center of the sequin. And when you're satisfied with sequins, it's finished! I think this is the most Christmassy jumper among all three and I really like how it turned out. So that was all for today's video and if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIYs and makeup and fashion videos. And yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!